Next on the list is the gripper. I'm sure you've seen this around YouTube a bunch. This is one of those tools that a lot of people have and there's a good reason for it. They're just excellent tools to have in the shop, especially for the table saw. Let me show you. I've used a variety of push sticks on a variety of projects. I don't use it for everything. I only use it for specific purposes. If I have a cut to make like this, this is a very thin cut and I have to get right up next to the blade, especially if it's to where a push stick like this will not go past the blade without hitting the blade. I could use one like this, but I don't like my hands being that close to an exposed blade. That's why I love the gripper. I can cut that thin stock without having to actually worry about my hand being on that blade or near the blade. And if I needed to use it on thicker pieces, you can adjust this piece down, which is what makes the gripper really nice because it puts that little foot down, gives you a little more balance or a little more stability there when you're making those tight cuts on thicker stock or thinner stock. Doesn't really matter, it'll adjust to all of them. The knobs, everything on this is really high quality feeling. You're not gonna feel like you got a cheap push stick that's unsafe. You're when you feel it and you use it, you're gonna know that you got a good piece of equipment in the shop. Now, if you're like me, you've probably seen one of these floating around for years and you never have picked one up. I'm telling you, when you get to ripping those little thin pieces like that, over the top of that blade with that little push stick, you know how uneasy that feels. This takes that uneasiness all away from you. 